Good Saturday morning, Cambrell Marshall, KPRC, Channel 2 Meteorologist. Exact track radar showing a hint of what we're going to be seeing over the next couple of three days and beyond. Here's exact track radar showing the showers that came through and are coming through this morning. Heavy rains coming across the Montgomery Harris County line now moving to the south and dissipating. We'll see that happening throughout the morning. Off and on, we'll see a couple of pop-up showers. We'll see a lot more as we get into the evening hours. Right now, we're seeing the showers moving through Crosby, going to Mount Bellevue, and getting a little bit less. But here's what's going on. Futurecast model in Louisiana, a big area of low pressure in the upper levels, is helping to rotate and helping to draw moisture in from the Gulf. That is what's creating all the heavy rain that's been in Louisiana over the last couple of days, and that's partly what's going to be coming in our direction. Put the future cast in motion here, and you notice as we go to 5 o'clock this afternoon, heaviest rains are up to the north as they're rotating around this area of low pressure that's moving toward this front that's sliding through. The front's not going to come through, though. If that were to happen, at least we'd have clearing skies going into the start of the week. That's not going to happen. This front's going to come and stall, so that's ahead of it. We also have the rain from the east coming in, so this rain is going to be cushioning right in this area. That's not a meteorological term. I just thought I'd throw that in. Put the future cast more into motion, more into 9 o'clock tonight, again into 10 o'clock. You notice a heavy line of showers that are building right across the lower part of the viewing area here overnight. In the morning, 4 o'clock tomorrow morning, Sunday morning, starting out on the wet side, areas to the north, not so wet. But you notice that over the next couple of days, going into Sunday and, and beyond, this front is what this rain is starting to really focus on. The area of low pressure will be shearing off and going up to the north, creating a lot more rain and Little Rock and areas to the north of that Missouri. But we will still have the rain here. This front's going to be stationary. The rain's going to stick around. This goes into Sunday night, goes into Monday. Rain still sticks around for the next couple of days for sure. And beyond that, midweek as well. I've got rain all the way through the end of the week in my forecast here. Sunday, futurecast rainfall amounts. You notice the colors as they build in here. These purples, really heavy rain. That corresponds to 10 to 12 inches. That's in the Liberty County area and also maybe in Galveston County. It's difficult to pinpoint where the heaviest rain is going to be. Just know that. But there is going to be um, heavy rain spots throughout the southeast Texas region. This is by 1 o'clock on Monday morning going into uh, Monday afternoon and evening. Two to four inches average throughout the area. Isolated is going to be six inches and higher in some cases. Just about uh, don't know exactly where that's going to be. That the trend for today, at least we're going to have cooler temperatures. All the clouds around, rain off and on. 94. Instead of 99 of yesterday and the 100s we've had all week long. So it will be warm, uh, cooler, but it's still going to be wetter. Here's your hour by hour forecast. And going up to about 94 degrees, rain chances will be high all day, and especially in the overnight hours, 60 to 70% chances. Dynamo is going to be a wet one tonight. Keep that in mind. Good news about all of this is the next 10 days, the temperatures, at least starting Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, We'll be in the upper 80s, low 90s, so we'll start to see those temps going back to the mid-90s toward the end of the week. I've got rain chances in one form or another all week long, heaviest chances starting with uh, tonight into Sunday, Monday, Tuesday.